As soon as we're ready to rock, let's get it rolling. Well, it'll probably take a minute for everybody to get on. There we are. See how many people join. Zero. I don't we see your ugly face. Let it roll for a minute. Let everybody get logged in. Hey, Greg, go on your phone and see if he's on there. He is. I'm going to head and arm you guys. If you call viewers, I'll turn it on. Oh, good. How many viewers are there? Oh, look at that. How many? Chat, 500. Oh, God, so. I don't know where. Jeez, who is talking in the chat? This is it. Hi. It's Carson. Yeah. Carson's mom said, "What's up?" No, that is that's Carson. Oh, is it? Dude, you said go CP. It sounds like a champ. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that guy. We good to go? I think so. How's the camera look on? Oh, the there's uh, T Mark What's up, Mark Mobley? You guys ready to get after it? Yep. All right, we'll give it two more minutes. Hey, so uh, okay. try to look at the view. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? up, Otis? Where you want that laptop set up? Where you want to go on that? Where's I would that? say. Right here. here, you guys back Either up a little bit. Let's see what we got. Here. Oh yeah, that works out perfect. There we go. Cool. What's up, guys? Colin Palmer here. We're about to get rolling. We're just gonna run through a ton of drills today. Have some fun. Hopefully, everybody's staying safe out there and uh, staying home. We aren't. Okay. Here we go. All right. Cool. So right now, let's just start out. We're going to start out with our headed side single drill. Just hit it on both sides. So for this, you're just doing a positioning drill here. Uh, focus on your placement of your, your knee, your shot. Uh, grip should be at the knee. Your head should be up in the ribs. Hips should be pulled in tight. These guys will run through a little demo here. Uh, scoot out a little bit further, guys. So we can scoot yep. heads. Yep, that's perfect. Go ahead. Head inside single. Good. Grayson, why don't you face the camera? Yep, turn and face the camera. Now, as Butcher's doing this, he's shuffling, keeping the head tight in the belly. Pull the grip tight into your belly. And then your knee should always be focusing on landing right by the heel. Always looking to cut the backside. Good, good, good. Do 10 on each side. 20 total, Grayson. Butcher, face the camera. There you go. Good. Good. Time, real quick. Now, as he's doing this drill... He's going to focus on shuffling to the far side. You don't want to walk. It usually you end up messing your footwork up. So all you're going to do, go dip, go in on a shot from here. Shuffle, 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 shoot. And it'll switch the lead foot for you. Good, good, good. Pull that grip tight to the belly. Land that left knee closer to the heel on that side. Good stuff. Make sure you're catching your trail leg. Don't let that trail leg get too far behind you. Good, good, good. Good. Let me know when you got 20. Was that 20? Yeah. Guys, we're not sure if he can count. He did not bring his calculator, so we are going to just say he got 20 and move on to the next drill. Okay, here we go. <laughs> okay, right now, all I want you guys to do, shoot head inside single, drive up to your feet, Shuffle your butt to the front, drive in a little bit, shuffle back, okay? Drive in, shuffle back. You know what I'm talking about? So go ahead. So right here, all we're doing is we're coming in. We're going to go head inside single. We're going to drive. focus on your positioning. Drive in a little bit, shuffle your butt to the front. Drive in a little bit, shuffle your butt to the front. Go. Do you need a pair of wrestling shoes? No, they're in my car. Do that. Drive in, shuffle your butt to the front. Drive in, butt to the front. Good stuff, good stuff. Good, drive in, butt to the front. In, butt to the front. Good, just do about 10 each of these. Just keep it loose, focus on your positioning. Always want the hips coming to the front. Good, cut the defensive guys' angles off. For those of you who don't know, this is Grayson Woodcock right here. Other guy, we got Evan Butcher doing all the demos today. Make sure to give them your PayPal 
Oh, really? Yeah, that's what everybody else does. Are you going to give them yours? I don't yeah, know. I'll give them yours. <laughs> Grayson's going to throw his Venmo account on there. If anybody has Venmo, it mine is Colin hyphen Palmer hyphen two. Butcher, we'll have you do that here in a second because I'm doing the next demo with Grayson. Is that it? Ten each? Oh, wow. oh, go ahead. Good. Focus on keeping the ear tight. Ear tight to the chest. Close that gap in between the shoulder. You want your back shoulder focusing on hitting that hamstring. Keep it tight to the back side. Good. Good, good, good. Just do about one more each and we'll move on. What's up, Moro? Yeah, Billy. Martinelli's, what's going on, dudes? Haven't seen you guys in a little bit. Hopefully you guys are staying safe out there in PA. We'll have to get together this summer once they pull these uh, restrictions down on us. All right, moving on. Next, let's go into our front headlock drill. So just double inside tie, get a movement, fake high crotch, pull back, snap, catch the front headlock, and then just a little bit of movement out of the front headlock. All right? Focus on when you guys are hitting your face. You always want to level change, get the head under the chin, touch the knee, then pull back, snap. All right? Good. Pull back, snap. Great. You stay on your feet. Come up on your feet on this. Hold on, hold on. Kill the guy. You all right? <laughs> guy needs a helmet. Holy cow. <laughs> from here, go ahead again. Fake. Pull back. Snap. Now, just a little bit of movement from here. So you usually always circle towards the side. You have the arm or the, or go the other way. <laughs> Come back on your feet, Gray. Do it again. Fake high crotch. Pull back. Snap. Get the movement yeah. going a little bit. Make sure in here we're tight. Everything's pinched. Elbows tight to your ribs. No gaps so they can't hit any ducks on us. Good, good, good. Just a little bit of movement. Yep. Move move towards the arm you have, up on your feet. Good. Go again. Don't worry about a finish yet. Just about four or five. Just move it. Yeah, just stay up on your feet. You don't have to worry about bringing it down to the mat. Good. Just shuffling a little bit. Good. Good. Uh, Grace, in your right elbow, pinch it a little bit tighter. Keep it a little bit tighter to your ribs. Guys, on this front headlock, uh, hang on a second. I heard, I uh, learned the hard way. I was just got to Ohio State, training with Reese Humphrey. Uh, my number one position on my feet was the front headlock. I locked in a front headlock on him. I had my elbow flaring out a little bit. Next thing I know, dude hit me with a duck, bear hug, set me flying. Never let that elbow flare out again. So don't learn the hard way. Learn it now. Pinch that elbow down tight. Go ahead, do a couple more, boys. more and you guys are good. Always chasing that angle. Good. Time. Gray, one more. Pinch your right elbow all the way in. Good. Tuck your head under that armpit a little bit more. There you go. Good. Pulls. Get the feet moving a little bit. Good. Time. Good. Now let's just run through a little bit of pummeling. Over, under, just get some upper body work in. I, I don't want you guys to do it real stationary. I want you to move a little bit. Keep the feet constantly moving. Digging your under hooks, over hooks, back and forth. Go ahead. So starting your over, under. Good. From here, shift the head. Always digging to the under hook. As you're digging the under hook, float your head to the far side. Good. Chest pump. Good. There you go. Good. Now, I want you guys to pull a little bit with your under hook. So once you dig an under hook, Instead of just going back and forth on digging underhooks, go ahead and give a couple hard pulls with the underhook side. Go ahead. Good. Create angles a little bit. 
Good. Good. And then kind of motion a little bit like a foot sweep. As you're pulling, yep, pull a little bit. Don't have to go so hard. Loosen it up a little bit. Pull a little bit. Great. You do a couple now. Pull. Other way. Pull the other way. Good, good, good. Good. Keep the hips in tight. Give it a good hard pull. Now take your foot. Look at me look, look real quick. As you're going to pull, go to the outside of his foot. Maybe a little bit of foot sweep there. And then pull back a little foot sweep to the other side. A little Steve Mako stuff here. Good. Use your foot. Good. Back up a little bit. You're getting too close to the camera. Good, good, good. Go ahead. Good heavy pull. Look for that foot sweep. There you go. Good. Good. Try to do the foot sweep off the pull. Holy cow. Holy cow. <laughs> Good stuff. So look, when you guys are doing this, stop. Loosen it up a little bit. So like, when I'm here doing this with Grayson, so like when you guys go to do your pull, when you do your foot sweep, you're going to go pull with the underhook side, and then you're trying to hit your foot sweep off that. Now on your overhook side, go pull, he reacts, go pull, and then foot sweep this side. Okay, so pull, foot sweep. Or pull, foot sweep, far side. Okay, my bad. Need a knee? Yeah. Go ahead. Hit a couple. Yeah. Just do it a little bit lighter. Good. Pull. Good. Pull again. Yank. Good. Yeah. Good stuff. Time, time, time. Good. Now, we're going to do a pass by drill. So, all you guys are going to do from here. One guy's going, and literally all you're doing, he collar ties, catching the collar tie, level change, pass it off, sidestep. He collar ties the other side, level change, pass it by sidestep. Again, level change, pass by sidestep. Okay? So if you guys are at home, you don't have a partner right now, I know you might look a little bit goofy, but all you're going to do, catch catch a tricep, level change, sidestep, pass it by. Other side, level change, sidestep, pass it by. Level change, sidestep, pass it by. Go ahead, crank them out. Uh, flip the thumb on top. So look, take your thumb up. Yep. So put your thumb up, pass it off. He collar ties the other side, thumb up, pass it off. Okay. Thumb always high. Yo, Bill. Thumb on top. There you go. No, that's thumb under. <laughs> Good. There you go. Nope. Like this. Brunchy, you go first. So, yep. Good. Good, good, good. Thumb always on top of the bicep. Give you a look. We're not going post here. So always go pass by. Thumb on top of the bicep. Roll it over. Ladies and gentlemen, Grace and Woodcock. Woo <laughs> Time good. Other guy. Good stuff. Good. Be careful pulling your head real heavy on this. You don't want to end up the guy diving into a shot on you. Stay in a good stance. Focus on your footwork. Grace, hit, take a side step out. You're planting on your heel. So watch. Look, watch me. So when he collar ties, I always go pass by level change, side step. That way you're creating some movement. What you're doing is you're planting your feet. You're doing this, pulling your head. Guys, don't pull your head way out. Okay? Keep your head down and in. Pass it by. Side step it out. And then you're always chasing the armpit here. So as I pass this by, I go side step, pass by. And then this pulls down and across, chasing that armpit. Alright, go ahead. Good, good. Keep a tight grip on it. So after you take it over, tight grip and then drag it down and across. There you go. A lot better. A lot better. Good. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good. Top. Good. Let's do one more round each. That was pretty good. Always looking to clear ties. Don't let anybody hang on your neck. They can do on their own. Yeah. They, so it, literally, if you guys are going to do this, you're at home on your own. All we're going to do is go collar tie, pass it off, sidestep it, pass it off, sidestep it, creating some angles. Go ahead. Good, good, good. Time, other guy. Last one. Good. Time. Right now, we're going to throw in a little bit of ball slams and a couple push-ups, sit-ups. 
So, Grayson, grab the ball real quick. You demonstrate the ball slams, and then uh, you do put. I want you to do push ups, and then I want you to do a little bit of bridge push ups. Okay, so Grayson first. So, we're going to elevate the ball up. I want you guys to do 20 of these as hard and as fast as you can go. Ready? Just heavy slam. If you don't have a ball, act like you have a ball. Good. Anything. Grab your cap. Good. Heavy slams. Drop the hips. Good. Good stuff. 20? Yep. Good job. Hey, if anybody out there needs a bowl of soup and a haircut, call Grayson. He's doing Grayson cuts, bowl of soup and a haircut. All right. Uh, <laughs> right now, uh, 25 push-ups, 25 sit-ups. All the way up, all the way down. Then we're going to jump into a little bit of stance motion. Uh, Probably six combo. Yeah, we're going to do some bottom drills here in a minute. Um, obviously, everybody probably doesn't have a partner yeah. right, just at home. So we'll do a lot of our bottom positioning drills, driving down and away. Uh, and then we'll do some knee slide drills, do our bottom technique. You're going to uh, do stance motion. And make sure when you're doing your stance motion for your demonstration, try to stay in this little area here. I'm going to, yeah, yeah. And then we're going to jump in real quick before we get into this, do about 10 bridge push ups. Stretch yourself out a little bit. Good, good, good. All the way up, all the way down. Good form there by Evan Butcher. Ladies and gentlemen, Olin Tangy for Lynn, freshman, Evan Butcher. Okay, now Grayson is going to demonstrate for us a little bit of stance motion. So right now, I'm going to have him do one of each uh, that we throw into our drill here, and then we'll have him do it in like a one-minute series. Um, add my uh, on, please, as we're doing this. Uh, so right now, just down block, circle out. So whatever foot you got out front, drop the hand out, kick the foot back, circle it out. So anytime that you guys are coming up from a shot, uh, my Venmo, Colin hyphen Homer hyphen two. Um, so right now, so we got down block, circle out. Good. Sprawl. When you guys sprawl, I want you getting all the way down to your hips, not your knees. Hips. Good. Hips. Circle out. Good. And then usually on the circle out, you're circling away from your lead leg. So again, down block, circle out, and then sprawl, circle out. Good. Sprawl, circle out. Good. Now, uh, knee sprawl, quick pick. So if you guys ever watch any of the higher level international guys, they do a lot of knee sprawls. Uh, so from here, we just drop straight down to our hands and knees. So if somebody fakes on us or takes a half shot or a body fake, anything like that, always jump down with the knee sprawl just to check it. Okay, so from here, quick knee sprawl. So look, jump out for a second. So from here, all I'm looking to do, the guy fakes good heavy, just drop straight down, okay? Drop your feet up, real quick knee sprawl, and then from here, just a quick Smith single, anything like that. So we call it knee sprawl, quick pick. Okay, so from here, knee sprawl, quick pick. Good stuff. And when you do that quick pick, it's a real quick lunge. All right? Gmail. Uh, what, for my email? For your Venmo, yeah. You need my email? Uh, C. Palmer. Oh, I said C. Palmer, a little hyphen name, Palmer, and two. No, no, no. Colin, hyphen. Palmer, hyphen, aye, aye, aye. You just move it. Holy cow. Did it. Holy cow. What is that? Butcher, what'd you do, Richard? <laughs> Did you mess it up? What is that? <laughs> I don't know. You get notifications on here. There it is. We back. Almost. Hold on a second. Man, you should have just this. Sorry, guys. Here, look, you send it. All right. Okay. So, from here, knee sprawl, quick pick, go. 
Good. Now, level change fake. Get your feet moving a little bit. Level change faking. Good. Just a lot of movements. Stay on the screen. Back up a little bit in that area. Good. Level change and faking. Good. Keep the elbows tight. Now, go to your check stance real quick. So, a little drill just to check your stance. It should be chest, knee, toe, all directly in a line here. So chest, knee, toe, they should all fall right in a line. So what the drill that we have the guys do at club, you always go here, chest, knee, toe, just to check that stance. If you're a lefty, chest, knee, toe, just keep correcting your positioning. Some of us too far on our toes, some of us too far on our heels. It's a good drill just to check your stance. So from here, tie it all together. Just make sure you stay in that little area back there. Ready? Are you going to call them out? No, you do the first 30, and then I'll uh, I'll jump in and on the last 30. Here we go. Ready? Go. Yeah. You got it now? Stay on the screen, Bill. Stay on the screen. The guys getting crazy. The guys getting crazy. Okay, here we go on me. Slide back to the center, ready? Knee sprawl, quick pick. Down block, circle out, reattack. Two shots in a row. Knee sprawl, quick pick. Double change fake. Double change fake, shoot. Good, good, good. Sprawl, circle out, reattack, last one. Time. Shake it out. Shake it out. Take a quick breather. We'll jump right back into it. Butcher, we'll have you do the next one. Get it? Okay, first 30 on you, last 30 on me. Anything you want. A lot of down, everything this series should be all chain wrestling. So anything in sets of twos or better. So sprawl, circle out, reattack. Down block, reattack. Uh, two shots in a row. Double change, fake, shot. Okay? Here we go. Ready? Go. Anything you want. Good. Good stuff. Good stuff. With you being lefty, down block, circle away from your lead leg. So circle right. So sprawl, circle out, circle right. Good. Good stuff. Try to avoid circling into that lead leg. Good. On me. Here we go. Two shots in a row. Go. Down block, circle out, reattack. Knee sprawl, quick, fake. Double change, fake, reattack. Good. Level change, fake, reattack. Good. Sprawl, circle out, reattack. High crotch, single. Fake single, shoot your high crotch. Fake high crotch, shoot your single. Fake high crotch, shoot single on your feet. So step fake and then shoot your sweep. Oh. Fake high crotch on your feet, then sweep. Good, top. 25 push ups, Grayson. Good job, good job. After this, we're going to jump into. Some bottom, bottom drills here. Let's do a little, little series on bottom. Do not need a partner for any of these drills. So, Gray, you do the first one. Let's go knee slide, stand up, cut, reattack. Yeah, try to back up a little bit so when you knee slide, you're not licking the computer over here. So on your guys' knee slide, I want you to go thumb to thumb, shift the hips, and then punch your knee slides. So let me do a quick demo real quick. So when I'm here, what I'm looking to do, I always want to shift this hand from my balance hand, right? So shift that hand. As I shift the hand, I shift the weight into my opponent. Outside knee is going to flare up. If you can see it, they're wiggling. Now, that's my power foot. I'm pushing, knee sliding from here. Knee slide, knee slide with my left knee, right foot. My trail leg comes out front, back pressure. Quick cut down into your stance, okay? So I always say, if you knee slide with your left knee, cut to the left. If you knee slide with your right knee, cut to the right. So one time on the right side, I go thumb to thumb, shift the hips, knee slide. As I'm knee sliding, punch this elbow back, kind of propels you a little bit forward, get some distance, step up, call this our ninja stance, hand to back pocket, 
quick cut. Okay? Go ahead, Dre. You do a five on one side. Butcher, you do a five on the other. Go. Good. Good, good, good. Good stuff. Every time we cut, our hands cutting all the way down to the mat. Good. Uh, Grayson, on your last two, throw on a reattack. Good. Good, good, good. Butcher, five on the other side. Good. Now, when we're doing this, focus on popping your hips a little bit deeper. Get a little bit more back pressure. Over-exaggerate it a little bit. Good. Much better. Good. Good. Now, on your last two, go ahead and throw a re-attack on the finish. Mix up your re-attacks, guys. Don't be doing the same re-attacks over and over. You don't want to, you don't want to be predictable. Good stuff. Next, we are going to move into sit out, or I'm sorry, knee slide, sit out, Peterson or shoulder roll. Uh, so from here, Grayson, go ahead. You do five on one side. So just go ahead and hit your knee slide, straight in your sit out, quick head spin. Look for your Peterson. Good stuff right there. So just finish up on your butt like you're sitting in a chair. Good. Good stuff. Good stuff. Now try to get some speed rolling. Good. Do one more. Uh, actually, you got two more. I want you to pick the speed up, and I want you to create a little bit more space on your knee slide. Good. And then just take that shoe. After you guys knee slide, just take that shoe like a windshield wiper, slide it right under your butt. Go. That's it. Yep. Knee slide straight into the sit-up. Good. There you go. All we're doing is creating a little bit of space before we get into our sit-out, make it a little bit easier to get into our head spin. One more, Grayson, and then Butcher's going to catch the other side. Good stuff. Good, good, good. There you go. Yep. One more. Good. Now, we'll save our six combo for last. Let's jump into uh, start referee's position. I want you to back up into a tripod. From the tripod, then knee slide, stand up. Uh, on this one, let's throw on a reattack. If you guys are on carpet at home and you don't feel like taking penetration steps, go ahead and hit like a slide by, duck under, anything upper body, anything from there. So, uh, Gray, from here, just go into a duck on your reattack. A duck? Okay. Yep. So go tripod up, and then a big knee slide through, stand up, cut, duck, double inside, duck, yep, yep. Just duck, finish it up. Just visualize what you're doing. Good, cut, good. Now, on this duck, after you guys get to your feet, okay, so the duck that we always did, you go double inside tie here, all right, and then level change, good, pull duck, and then come up right behind them. So from here, get a couple pulls, pull, pull, and then duck, wrap the body. Okay? Get a couple more, Gray. Good. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Good stuff. What's your five? When you guys are going into your tripod right now, I know you don't have a partner on top of you. Focus on keeping a lot of pressure on your hands. So you always want to keep a lot of weight on your hands. Make it harder for you to get broken down. Driving that weight back. Good. Good stuff. Hit a slide by, pull by, whatever you want to do. Just visualize what you're doing. Good. <laughs> Looks a little goofy. It is what it is. Good. <laughs> That's all right. You done? Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay, now on this next one, I'm going to have these guys demonstrate this together. You do not need a partner for this. 
Um, I'm just going to kind of give you the visual so you can see what's going on here. So we're going to go tripod, bump the hip, slide it out, big high leg over the body. You can either look to throw your boot or you can go into this position here. So say I'm here, he's on top, throw your arm over the belly. So what I'm doing from here, you slide out to the side. So I'm going to bump the hip. As soon as I bump the hip, what I'm looking to do is get this knee back to the mat. So a lot of guys just ride on their knees, hang tight on that deep waist. So from here, I'm going to bump the hip. So I bump it. As soon as I get them back to the mat, what I'm looking to do is pull the hips. As soon as I do, keep both hands planted. Big jump up and over. So big jump, slide this knee straight in and down. So if you're not a fan of throwing a boot in on this side or you can't get it, you don't have the length, take the knee, jam it. Turn, 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 turn. Take this hand, drop it down to a shoe, and then elevate ankle. Slide the hips in and down. Okay? So when you're doing this on your own at home, it's probably going to look like this. So from here, I'm going to go tripod, push back, back, back. Boom, circle out, and then a big jump. And finish on a knee. Other hand, catch an ankle here, pull it in and down. Okay? These guys are going to do this together just so you know what's going on. So from here, big tripod up, big bump of the hip. Good. Now big up and over, jump, 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 jump. When you're doing this one, be careful. Here, restart. Butcher, you go. You got a little bit more length. When you guys are doing this, do not hit this slow. It's got to be quick. Big bump. Good, good, good. Again, bump that hip. Elevate the ankle on the finish. When you guys are doing this, make sure you get him to a knee. If he doesn't drop to a knee, then don't do it. Go knee slide if he doesn't. Yep. Good. And then up and cut. Good. So, Grayson, on this one, you make sure that you are dropping to a knee. All right. Okay. Bump. Good. Very good. Perfect. Now, I want you guys to face that way before you hit it so they can see the hips coming over and the boot sliding in. Yep. Very good. Gray, you want to hit a couple? I'll try. <laughs> Okay, now let's have Gray do it without a partner. It might look a little bit goofy, but for you guys at home, just try it out. Get the hips floating a little bit. So from here, try pot up. Big bump, good. Pull away. Big high leg up and over. But jump. Both hips got to go at the same time. Get the feet off the ground. Good. This is something that you got to go all in with. You can't go half go on it. Might get scooped back and pulled around. From here, good. Big jump. That's it. Good. And then drop that hand to the ankle. That's all it is. One more. Good, good, good. We good on that? Okay. Now, we're going to jump into a Spider-Man drill. So, you guys slide out for a second. So, basically, all I'm doing from here is rebuilding my base from when I get flattened out on my belly. And when you guys are doing this, what we're trying to avoid is coming up with these big gaps here, okay? So what I do, I call the Spider-Man positioning drill. We're going elbow to knee. So all I'm doing from here is just get my elbow to my knee. Now, obviously, I have to focus on getting cradled, okay? If a guy is coming over top, obviously, just punch out, square back up. But from here, I always go into the guy first. So if all the weight's heavy, say on my left side, I go knee to elbow. Push up heavy on my outside hand, and I'm going to find my knee and elbow on the other side. So from here, knee to elbow, close that gap. Now from here, I'm in a real little ball. Palms are always digging like we were saying before, and then you just shift back to the position you want to be. Okay. When I get here, don't just jump forward and shift the weight forward. That's usually when we get chopped, broken back down. So from here, drive that weight down and in, get back to your comfy position on bottom. Okay. Different angle. We're going to go here. Knee to elbow, push up, real tight to the mat still. So push up real tight, knee slide to elbow, and then get back where you want to be. Okay? Go ahead, guys. Crank a few of these out. By yourself. Or... Yeah, do it with the partner on top so they understand what I'm saying. Back up, back up, right there, good. Yep, so he's hiding, he's riding real heavy on the right side, deep waist real tight. So from here, come into him first, right? So ship. Other way. Shift the other way. Start with the right elbow knee. Yep. Go. No, no, no. Other way. Good. 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 Push up. 
Wiggle back to your position. Hips got to get low to the, no, no, no. Wiggle your hips back to that far left ankle. Yep, always pull them hard away from your opponent. Push, push, push. Hands should be digging in the mat. Hands should be digging. Now, stop where you're at. Tuck this shoe. Butt should be down and in, okay? You want to be tight to that mat, all right? Again. So from here, Butcher, you just go real tight on the deep waist so he can feel it out a little bit. Now, you guys are fighting this just like you're fighting a gut and freestyle. Only difference on this one, we're trying to get back to our base for poke style. So from here, he starts driving. Hands got to get out to that left side. Good. Push, push. No elbows, no elbows, no elbows. Good. Good. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Get back to your base. Good. Elbows up. Good. There you go. Good. Do it again. Now do it without a partner. So focus, turn sideways so they can see if there's any gaps. So from here, we're trying to focus on sealing the gaps. We don't, we don't want any gaps coming in through here, elbows on the mat, nothing crazy like that where they can come over top, catch wrist, or come underneath and catch wrist. So make sure you keep everything tightened down. Ready? Put your hands out by your shoulders, kind of like you're doing a push-up. And then from there, get started. Ready? Go. Good. No elbows on the mat. Good. Push up. Slide back up. Hips down and in. Good, good, good. One more. And then Butcher, I'm going to have you do this. Keep your hands. Yeah, keep these hands a little bit tighter to your shoulders. Keep chest tight. Good. Now go ahead. Good. Need elbow. Head up. Good. Now wide the base. Real wide base. Real wide base. Good. Now wiggle back where you want to be. Good. Don't, don't break yourself down. Now get to your referee's position. Good stuff. There we go. Good. Switch it up, Butcher. Any side you want to do. Need elbow. Push up. Need elbow. Good. Guys, this position right here is crucial. A lot of times that we, we're usually really good top wrestlers. Uh, a lot of the times we're waiting for guys to make mistakes on the bottom when they're rebuilding that base. So we came up with this drill to try to avoid all the big gaps, giving up boots, giving up chops, all that good stuff. So focus on heavy, heavy pressure on the hands. So one more. So from here, pushing down and in. I'm going to go need elbow. Find it. Once it's tight, keep it together. So you guys will see my knee and elbow are touching here. All right. Once I find it, keep it together unless they come over top for a cradle. Other than that, palms are always digging. So my weight's always down and in. From here, trying to find the other knee and elbow. So I push up, close that together. Now, don't wait for your knee to get to your elbow. Close it down. Find it. Meet it in the middle. And from here, push, push, push. Right back up into your base. Okay. Uh, Greg, do two more. And then butcher, do two more. We'll move on. Keep it real tight. Palms always digging. No elbows on the mat. Go. Good. Good, good, good. good. Good, good. Butcher, two. All good? Mm -hmm. Okay. Right now, let's just run through our changeover knee slide to our Grammy. So, let me demo this first. When we get into this changeover, so without a partner, what we're looking to do, so let's say we have a side that we're not as good on on bottom as, as the other. What I'm looking to do is hit this changeover to get the guy switched to the far side. So from here, let's say I'm not good on the right side. So he's on my right elbow, gets lined up. Stop that first move, push it down and away, get the hips low. Now, from here, we're going to go almost like we're hitting a switch. So I go again, thumb to thumb. Outside knee is going to flare up. From here, I'm going to post, and I'm going to come up and under with this bottom leg, flip it over to my far left hip. So from here, up under, flip my hip. Immediately, that's going to force this guy to change over to the far side. Okay. Once he gets to this side, I'm going knee slide. Windshield wiper, and then up and over to my granny. Okay? So again, I'm going, I always use a line. So I got this tape line right here in front of me. And what I'm looking to do is I'm looking to get my hips switched without passing this line. So I don't want my movement going forward. I want everything directly next to me. So it's forcing this guy to switch sides. All right? So from here, thumb to thumb, knee goes tall. Shift underneath, almost identical to a switch. Now, the only thing is, only difference is I'm coming under and then flipping 
over. And then a quick knee slide, windshield wiper, and up. And then get your cartwheel, Granby, in there. Okay? You guys want a demo? Do any of you guys have this down real well? No? Okay. Well, let's try it. Come on. Here we go. So from here, line up with me. So from here, I want you to go right thumb, left thumb. Left knee wiggling. Now from here, you're going to post the majority of your weight on your right hand. Kick your leg up and under and flip over to your left hip. Yep. Now from here, you may land here. All you're going to do is shift that foot underneath and then a quick knee slide. And then from here, go ahead and take off in your grips. Good, good, good. Here, try it again. Grayson, go ahead. Try yours. Hit a couple. Okay, so look, when you start right here, I want you focusing on shifting to right here. Okay, so we're going to go. The direction should be, look, we're trying to create all these angles from here. Shift to here. Knee slide to here. Grand me to here. Okay? So they're always having to chase you. Try not to stay in the same position. So right next to where you go. Good. On knee slide straight. Good. Now grab me to me. Holy cow. We'll work on that grab you, but that was good. Do it again. Huh? I should put X's on the mat so it doesn't rotate. Yeah. Do you want me to draw X's out? Go ahead. Thumb to thumb. Big foot to the hips. Knee slide. Knee slide. Good. Windshield wipe for Grammy. Good, good, good. One more. Yep. Good. There you go. Other side. Yeah, let's go one more on the other side. You got it down? All right. Thumb to thumb. Shift to the hips. Quick knee slide. Windshield wiper. Grammy. Good stuff. That looks good. Okay. Now, we're going to jump into our six combo. So, it doesn't have to be this exact combo. This is just one that we always train, we always drill, uh, seems to work well. So basically, like we all know, chain wrestling is crucial in this sport. Um, so right now, what we're planning on doing is we're gonna go to a knee slide, straight to a sit out, straight to a head spin. Once we get in our head spin and we're in this position, partner obviously is gonna follow us. We're gonna go push up, knee slide, and then back up to your feet, okay? So the combo is knee slide, sit out, head spin, push up, knee slide, stand up, cut, reattack. Okay, so this will be our sixth combo here. Right now, butcher, you go first, just go real slow, start deep out there. Yep. So from here, go ahead, knee slide. So real quick before we get started, if you knee slide with your left knee, you're going to knee slide with your left knee on the second one. Okay, so same thing if you do your right knee. On the second knee slide that you're going to do, use your right knee again. So we're always creating space and we're getting away from our opponent. Go ahead, restart. So he's going left knee knee slide. Go ahead, sit out, head spin, push up. No knees here. Knee slide, left knee again, stand up, cut, reattack. Good stuff. Do about five on that side. Four more. Knee slide, sit out, head spin. Push up, no knees, no elbows. Knee slide, stand up, cut, reattack. Okay, so here's the problem that we run into on this. So we'll get into our sit out, then we cut into our head spin. Now, once I'm here, usually the guy follows and we do this. When we drop down to our knees, okay, knees or elbows or anything like that, it's giving the guy time to recover, all right? So to keep him chasing off of this head spin, Push up, and then straight into your knee slide, and then up, and then a quick cut. Okay, again. Knee slide, sit out, head spin, push up, knee slide, stand up, cut, three attack. Good. Two more, and I want to match pace, and I want Grayson do five. Yee! -hee. Good. Push up, knee slide, stand up, cut, three attack. Good. Good stuff, good stuff. Grace and five.
Good job. Good job. Keep it rolling. Okay, now in this last 10, 10 minutes or so, 15 minutes or so, I'm going to have these guys demonstrate this stuff together just to get a little bit of boot work. Um, we always specialize in a lot of boot riding, power halves, all that good stuff. Obviously, I know a lot of you guys don't have a partner right now. Uh, good time to take notes, pay attention, and just uh, try to learn some something off of this. Um, right now, I'm going to have you guys just jump into... Uh, spinal breakdown, catch the near wrist. So as soon as the guy gets broken down to this position here, I want this near wrist caught and rolled underneath as you're throwing your boot in. Uh, common mistake when we're throwing boots, uh, one of the mistakes I made when I was wrestling David Taylor about 10 years ago in high school, uh, throwing boots in and just not breaking them down. Next thing you know, it ended up costing me a couple reversals. So I preach to my club guys all the time, focus on the breakdown before any boots are thrown in, all right? So right here, just go ahead, just go real light, spiral breakdown, drop them to the elbow, drop them to the hip. Good, catch that near wrist, slide the boot in. Now, immediately once the boot gets thrown in, a real heavy arch on the low back, and then on the finish, here, turn so your guys' heads are facing the weight equipment. So on the finish of the feet, we got multiple options here. Um, a lot of the times I have, um, have our guys hooking this on the back of their leg so you can keep a post leg up, okay? So we can keep use this as a post leg. Post, yep, right like that, like you're trying to run your power half, and this foot hooked on the back of the other leg will act as a figure four, and it'll just keep that post leg off of the side for you. Uh, option number two, as we all know, uh, figure four, this knee, we should always be driving that to the crack of the butt, and then digging our figure four, all right? I know a lot of guys will have this out here and they'll be floating this, trying to find the figure four. What this is gonna do, it's, it's, it's gonna line you straight up and down with this guy, okay? You wanna be a little bit X'd out on this, so we take this knee to the crack of the butt, and then I want your chest, turn to face camera, I want your chest floating over the far shoulder just like you're getting ready to go into a turn, okay? What this is gonna do is it's gonna keep all the weight buried on that far hip right in there, all right? That way it's harder for this guy to get up on the bottom, all right? Come back to the base. You guys just do a few breakdowns each. Spiral breakdown, catch that near wrist, throw on the boot. You can go. So one of the options that we did not cover was just going a scissor, okay? So you can go boot figure four. You can go boot, hook it on the back of the far leg. You can go boot, scissor your boot, whatever you guys want to do, okay? Go ahead. Spiral it out, claw spiral, drop to the hip, catch the near wrist, roll it out. Now, when you guys are throwing your boot, focus right here. I don't know if you guys can see this very well. His boot is all the way up in the crotch, okay? You don't want this dude, this boot all the way down here by this knee. If it is, slide that boot down by the knee. More and more and more. All he's got to do is pull the hip forward and slide that boot out, all right? So, focus on digging your shoe all the way up into the crotch. Take this knee, drive it all the way to the crack of the butt. Should elevate that hip for you and put all the weight down here on this inside hip. Okay? Good. Hit a couple more each. Pick the speed up a little bit. Good, good, good. Good. Again. Good, roll the wrist, heavy arch. Good, X out on the finish. Good stuff. Good, catch the wrist, boom, figure four. Heavy arch. You, always, you guys always want your hips on the low back. You don't want uh, hip to hip here. Got to keep our power on their weak spot. Again, how many you guys got? This will be the... Okay, great. You do one more and we'll move on. Good. Catch that in your wrist. Roll, arch. Perfect. Good stuff. X and out on the finish is crucial. 
spread disperse that weight across the entire body. Okay, now from here, we are gonna jump into our spiral to our boot, catch near wrist, roll it out, let's go Turk, and then bring it back to our bundle, okay? So if anybody doesn't have a partner, you can use your sister, your dog, your mom, anything you've got at home. Tell them to get down for a minute and uh, put them through a little bit of pain here. Catch a wrist, boot, good, figure four it out. Now from here, whip the hip, heavy cross face, get under the chin, Good. Now, on this finish, we always call this frame in the face, just like a picture frame. That elbow should be at the bottom of the chin, uh, hand should be at the top of the head. Now, from here, you're always looking to roll the chin towards your chest. Good. So, once it's facing your chest, you know you're scoring back points from there. Uh, let him belly out now. Good. Now, stop, stop. As soon as he's going to belly out, we're going to come out of our figure four, hook our boot on the back of the other leg, grace and roll your hips, and then you're just floating this elbow, turn face camera. Face camera, Dre. Dre, turn, 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 turn. Good. So elbow in the face from here. We always have a goofy saying here, stir the pot, serve the food. So basically what you're doing from here is you're going elbow in the face, drive it across, lift the face out of the way. Take the hand, stir the pot around the elbow, pull the elbow forward. That's when you're scoring your back points. Right there. Good. Easy on it. Easy on it. Good. Bob broke the guy's arm off. <laughs> My arm all right. Back. Huh? Oh, my arm, my back. You all right? Yeah. Guys, right here, this is free chiropractic for Grayson. So tip your tip your waiters. All right. Let's see what we got. Good. Spiral out. Good. Catching your wrist. Whoa, Bill, you missed the wrist. Yeah. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. That wrist is crucial. So if we don't catch that near wrist, they're going to be able to base up, dump us off the top. Good. Spiral out. Catch the wrist. Boot it up. Good. Heavy arch. Whip the hip out to the side. Frame the face. Pull the chin to the chest. Good. From here, he goes belly out. As he's bellying out, switch your feet. Switch your feet. Good. Hook that. So stop right here. For those of you who didn't see this before, you're switching this off to hook on the back of the other leg. Post foot is back. All we're doing here is pinching our knees as tight as we can as we're going into this and arch the entire time. So you stir the pot, serve the food, pull that elbow up. Lock the hands, heavy arch. Now, on your finish from here, I know we're moving through this quick. We only got a couple minutes. On the finish from here, some of my guys are a little bit longer go double boot. I would have a little bit shorter legs. My mom's 4'10". Thanks a lot, Mom. We appreciate that short height there. Uh, from here, we're going, you can either scissor it down the crotch, pull it in and out, or, I, easy on it, easy on it. Or what I always do, I call these pedals, like on a bike. So the bottom boot, is pulling, top pedal, pushing, keeping the hips right where you want them. If he tries to turn in on you, you just elevate this. Top shoe, pull the bottom shoe in. Now from here, if the guy starts getting up on your chest, just roll it through. Holy cow, Bill, what happened? No, 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 restart. You pulled all your boots. Don't bail on the boots. Don't do what he just did here. We're going to restart that one. He got a little bit excited. Dogs are barking. Kids are going crazy in the house. Catch the wrist. Have you? Nope. Nope. Bill, Bill, Bill. Roll the wrist. I thought we were going to Good. Move. Now, yeah, let's just go straight to the bundle. Go ahead. Roll it out. Fall. Pinch. Good. Now, stop. Nothing needs to be intense right now there, Larry. Good. Now, from here, if he gets up on top of you, just keep the lock. Roll it up, 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 and through. Good. Good, good, good. What you're doing? You always got to have an escape route when you're running boots. Obviously, your uh, posts are all tied up. So all we're going to do is keep everything tight, don't bail on anything, and just roll it through. So from here, figure four Turk. Yep. Good. Once we pull that Turk in, he starts bellying up, elbow in the face, stir the pot, stir the food, heavy arch, stop where you're at. Now, from here, let's say Grayson starts getting up on top of Butcher's chest, just lock it and roll it through. Roll it through, roll it through. Go, 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 go. Heavy arch, come right back up on top, no danger. Good stuff, good stuff. Good. Now, from here, we are going to jump into one more setup to get a boot in, and we're just going to go into our crab roll. Okay? So, I'll demonstrate this one, and we'll finish with a little bit of drill. So, from here, so turn sideways a little bit. So, on this one, all I'm doing is I'm going to go, I'm going to go half, pry in the crotch, or a deep waist. Completely up to you. Uh, from here, this was one of my brother's best breakdowns to get a boot in. 
From here, we're just gonna pull it straight into the crab ride. Once I get into the crab ride, bottom foot's gonna hook, top foot's gonna throw the boot, and then you just keep rolling up with it. Roll, 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 and then hips in and down, okay? Again, so this is our, we usually go crab roll to our power half on this. So slide a little bit further towards the camera, there we go, good. So from here, pressure heavy, slip the half, deep waist or a pride in the crotch. I prefer the pride in the crotch. And then I'm just gonna pull them into a crab ride. Roll, 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 roll. Top foot hooks, bottom foot boots, and hit from here, hips in and down on your finish. I'll have these guys do about three each. And we'll finish with a little bit of stance motion. Go ahead. Good, hips all the way up. Good, good, good. Now, hit it, hit your last two fast. Show them how it should look in a match pace here. Good, arch, 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 arch. Roll it through, good, one more. You alright? Yeah. Grayson got hit in the bean bag there. We're going to shake that out. Shake and bake it, buddy. A little bit of half. Good. Pry. Pull it up and in. Boot. Hips up. Hips up. Hips up. Hips up. Uh, bottom guy, you got to do the part where you pull him back to the belly. There you go. Good stuff. Two more. Good stuff, guys. Almost done. Good. Roll it up. Ah, get that left foot in. Good. You guys are off screen. Good stuff. Good stuff. Okay, now we got about three minutes to go. So what I'm going to have these guys do is do a little bit of stance motion. I want you guys to envision every single setup going into the shot. So I know a lot of the times when we're doing our stance motion, we're just focusing on our shot, sprawl, down blocks, all that good stuff. I want you guys to throw in all your setups. So drag to a double, post, high crotch, pass by high crotch, pass by cross stick, anything you guys want to do. Envision it all. Uh, Butcher, you're going to crank in one minute. Grayson, you're going to do one minute. We're going to wrap this session up. All right. Here we go. So, uh, name off your top five setups. Go. No uh, Muay Thai. Good. Um, two and one. Good. Um, probably. You do, a lot of, you do a lot of slide by, pull by. Yeah, that's Throw that in there a little bit. Just kind of hit it and then maybe reattack. So, let's say we go pull by partner squares. You can drop to a cross pick. Inside pick, anything you want to do. All right. Ready? Here we go. One minute. Go. Finish strong, guys. You got one minute to go. Push the pace. Good, good, good. Setups are crucial, especially once you get to the high, highest levels. Good. Now, the last uh, 30 seconds here, I want you to go set up shot shot so let's say we do a pass by we shoot a high crotch he squares up cut it back with a sweep all right so everything chain wrestle now set up shot shot got it doesn't have to be perfect go ahead throw it together perfect good stuff good couple more fakes stay on screen there larry he got excited good 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 you got eight seconds. Push the pace a little bit. Time. Grayson, you're up. Ready? Go. Every setup you got. Mix them in there. Chain wrestling, everything to finish off. Good, good. And guys, I know your slide buys and pull buys feel a little goofy when you're doing them by yourself. That should always be one of your top setups. Obviously, a lot of matches always start out with collar ties, setups. Make sure you're sliding guys off, passing them off, pulling them by. Good. Good. Go into a slide by and then anything you want off a slide by. Good. Good. Drag sweep. Good, drag sweep. Good, pass by high crotch, single. 
Good, good, good. Again, so the last 30 seconds, I will, oh, we passed it. Go ahead. I'll do about 15 seconds, everything chain wrestling, okay? So something, whether it's a drag, high crotch to a sweep, uh, pass by high crotch to a sweep, pass by fake single to a high crotch, up to you. Ready? Go. 15 seconds. Good. Hey, you forgot your setup. Setup, setup, setup. Good. And then shot, shot. Good. So set up, shot, shot. Good. Set up. Shot, shot. Good. Good. Time. So when you guys, obviously we're in some wild times right now, but uh, anything that you guys can do to keep the brain working, focus on your wrestling, your setups, your shots, anything like that, keep it rolling. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the session. If there's anything else that you guys need, you guys can hit me up at 440-212-6379, or you can catch me on email at cpalmer4x at gmail.com. Uh, you can find all of our training camps, cpwrestling.net. Um, obviously, everything's shut down right now. We're hoping uh, everything will be back up and rolling by June so we can get into our summer clubs, summer camps, all that good stuff. Uh, if there's anything else, let me know, guys. You guys take it easy and be safe. CP out. Good job,